everyone, it's Lori Ellison from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to teach a quick tutorial on how to enter credit card charges. So if you have, I'm not going to teach bank feed adding tra transactions. We have that in other videos. I'm going to explain how to just add them yourself. Okay, so you could go a couple different ways. If it is connected or you saw it here, you could enter it. Well, I mean, I'll show you how to add the credit card charge here that I have some entered, and then I'll show you how to manually add them. So if you have your credit card connected, most important thing, click your gear, make sure you copy your bank detail to memo, you show your bank details, and never allow the suggested categorization. Okay. And so Amazon, Office Supplies, that looks fine for me. And you just click Add. This is a demo file. It's not really actually connected to a credit card. I think I probably did some sort of import. And so each time you just want to really check, make sure your memo comes in. Pick your category. Maybe I made some rules before. And until you get really the hang of it, do them one at a time. Don't batch add. Okay, so that was how you add it through a bank feed. And now let's go add it a manual way. So you go over here to accounting, click chart of accounts. Okay, and then go find your credit card. You're in the register. And then right here you would just click credit card expense. Okay, so you have a date, do another, you can just, you just basically type in oh, I want more like fuel, or gas. Okay, so apparently we don't even have, so again, you're going to have this happen. Um, I always put every account that I make to Office in General, and then you could, I would first make an auto expense, and just make it auto. Okay, so that's how you make a code on the fly, and then you would click save. Now, make sure if, um, Okay, now if you're going to pay your credit card, that's totally different. So let me just show you how to do one more. So you're just going to, let's say someone, you had a credit card credit on your statement. You're going to click here, credit card credit. And let's say Office Depot, you went and returned to something. So you just make sure you just drop down and pick the other piece. And so your credit's always going to be in your payment side, okay? Now, let's say you're working on your credit card and you need to enter a payment you made. You don't enter that in this register. You need to enter that from the checking account it was paid from. So let's say you went online and you paid your American Express. Look what it did. So you got to go back up to your checking account, pick American Express, then you would pick that as your code. Ignore that. Oops. Let's say we're paying five hundred dollars. This is because I had a bill in here for American Express, so we'll just do it twice. I would not recommend entering bills for your credit cards. Just pay attention to where the balance is and then just pay it. So I'm going to do it again. Okay, so now we're going to do an expense. We're going to, and look at this, it keeps defaulting to the wrong account, so you're going to have to really watch that. So normally, you're going to put in your vendor. Man, just ignore that. Pick the credit card. Don't code out, especially if you carry a balance, don't 
code out your like to like the five things you paid on your credit card you need to always code it to your credit card so it's you made a thousand this is save and close Okay, so now we're back. Where did my thousand dollars go? Okay, so see, there was my thousand dollars. You always, you never enter payments for your credit card in your register. You need to do that from the checking account. It's paying, okay? But what if you paid it with your personal money and not your business money, but it's a business credit card? Then you would do add credit card credit, um, paid card with personal money. I see this all the time. I can't find the payment, and, there, and then the client will say, oh, I paid it, I paid it out of my personal account. So this would be an owner's contribution. So this is the one time you would post a payment in the register and it's only if it wasn't paid from an account on your books. Owner's investment, okay, because it's personal money paid. It's basically, an, it's like the owner gave the company $1,500 and then the company was able to pay the bill. It's really the way you should do it. Okay. All right, I hope you found these tips helpful. Please let me know if there's any videos you'd like me to make.